Um, the way they sort of conceive of this medication is that it's a uh, sort of cleaner nortriptyline, cleaner and probably lighter nortriptyline. Um, so um, it's an SNRI, um, and you know the three SNRIs that we have are Effexor, Cymbalta, and then Savella or Milnasopran. So Milnasopran had a lot of data in Europe where it's approved as an antidepressant um, you know, that it worked for mood. Um, however, we did not aggressively, or the pharmaceutical companies did not aggressively push for that indication in the United States. The patent was was actually getting close to running out. So what did they do? They took levomilnasopran, which is an active enantiomer of the racemic mixture in milnasopran, and they reformulated it and they extended the release so you can take it once a day. Um, and then they applied for a patent for a novel drug here. Um, it does not have any novel properties, right? Um, However, it is cool to think about its function and its pharmacodynamics um, as an SNRI. So when we think about SNRIs, you know, we can think about this ratio of serotonin transporter blockade to norepinephrine transporter blockade. And we've got the extreme, which is a factor which is wickedly serotonergic. We've got Cymbalta, which is still more serotonergic than noradrenergic, but has a decent noradrenergic burst, even at like a you know, 40 milligram dose or 60 milligram dose. And then we've got Milnasopran or Savella, which is actually more of a noradrenergic reuptake blocker than serotonergic reuptake blocker. What does that resemble? That resembles the secondary tricyclics, right? So we've created a secondary tricyclic with milnasopran or levomilnasopran, which does not have cardiac side effects. So take care of your old people. Um, and um, it does not have the toxicity of the tricyclics. So that's kind of cool. Um, moving on to the question of does it work? Um, you know, it looks like it works. Um, so the FDA approved it at 40, 80, and 120 milligram doses based on three trials. These people did not have the fortitude <laughs> to test it against an active comparator, so it's just against placebo. And, you know, the separation from placebo is kind of similar to what we saw when we talked about fortioxetine. Um, uh, what else? What's a bummer about this drug? So, um, actually, I should tell you there are a couple cool things about this drug because I've, I've been pretty angry. It did separate um, in functional outcomes, and that's hard to do. So people that took this medication compared to placebo actually did better um, functionally um, based on the Sheehan scale. Um, and then I mentioned already that there aren't some uh, clinically significant cardiac side effects. And it's um, a use for chronic pain, too. Well, I mean, it's more expensive than Savella, so... You could use it for chronic pain, but yeah, I mean, just like all the other SNRIs, it has the, you know, these anti-nociceptive properties, um, and so it could be useful for the pain patient, but probably that wouldn't justify the cost. I could imagine with vortioxetine that it might justify the cost if you really needed to want an antidepressant, and there were all these reasons, including sexual, that they refused, um, that, that it might be worth it. Um, some of the things that are a bummer about this medication, it was also mostly studied um, in Europe, multi-center studies. Um, it actually, it has kind of a gnarly side effect profile. So it's not like a tricyclic, but um, it has, for its common side effects, these are common. Nausea, dizziness, constipation, tachycardia, hypertension, urinary hesitation, sexual dysfunction, hyperhidrosis, insomnia, and vomiting. Not <laughs> fun at all. Um, so common like more than ten percent, or yeah, I think common. It's either more than five or more than ten. Five to ten. I think it's five. So that is kind of like the shipper. Right? It that. is. It's. I, I think it is. It is. It is like thinking of just having a, a secondary tricyclic that is not going to kill people if you overdose as easily, and that's not going to have the cardiac problems.